Hi folks, this is Max from 1xroot.com. Uh, for this week, um, please check out the Ice Cold Jelly AOKP -A -O -K ROM for your HTC One X International model. This is the quad core model. Uh, as you can see here, let me show off my lock screen here. This is the AOKP -A weather widget and my calendar widget going off there. Um, so it's showing me everything. And also this is my targets, uh, different. you can add up to eight different targets. I'm kind of one of the main things cool about AOKP ROMs. This is kind of a um, slightly different build than the ones I've been posting. Pretty solid build, everything working fine out of the box. And let me actually change the brightness here. And you can see here, um, there's actually this is actually running Android uh, 4.1.2, the one just came out. So um, you do get the latest Android 4.1.2. Uh, AOKP ROM here, and uh, let's make the brightness a little bit brighter. Um, I've got it auto. Oops, I've got some custom stuff here. There we go. That's way better. Um, also in display, you'll find automatic backlight. Uh, more tweaks you can do. I'm still messing with it. Um, the light levels is supposed to, you know, you should be able to change the dim level uh, so to match a little bit better. If it's not working for you for the automatic backlight there and also you can use BLN this is really cool um, notification you can use your soft buttons as a notification um, you know button there that's kind of cool and you can see I've got my own Zetomax um, carrier label there so that's kind of an additional AO, it's not really an AOKP feature it's just kind of you know addition to the AOKP this ROM brings you um, so I kind of really like that and uh, let's see, ROM control, you'll get the standard stuff, general UI. That There's the custom carry label you can set. Um, kill all button is great, you know, so you can kill all of your apps. Uh, I find it handy. Hold back to kill. Um, also, you can force tablet UI. You can change the LCD density. Um, you'll have to reboot. I'm not going to show you that. But you can, you can mess with that so you can, you know, fit more stuff into your screen. And uh, let's see, lock screen. Um, you can set the number of targets here. Set up to eight lock screen targets. You can change the different lock screen there. Uh, that's really cool. I've got the weather widget enabled. Uh, calendar, calendar sources. I've got it pulling from my Gmail here, which is really nice. Uh, lock screen rotation, this is really nice. So you can unlock it um, both ways. Oops. But a pretty solid ROM. I mean, I just I don't know. I I just tired of sense now. I'm just running AOKP based ROMs. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of a one week. I feel like you know I need sense, and then if I'm running you know AOKP or you know AOSP ROMs and I want to go back to sense, it just changes every week. So. In navigation bar, you can add additional soft buttons if you want. Um, power menu, battery, um, toggles, All right, toggles, what is what else is big, sound, you can mess with a bunch of these stuff, A2DP, all that great stuff, weather, you do have to set um, this to on for the lock screen weather to work, so make sure you set a custom location, I've got it set to San Francisco, California, and also there's additional options if you want to start custom apps, um, like, you know, let's say, I hold down the you know the weather widget there and then it'll open up my some of my widgets you know oh actually no let's just try it let's actually try to open up some app here uh, uh, I wish there was you can get a torch torch um, and then kind of open it up that's kind of cool let's see if that works I have to do this I'm not sure um, mess with that. You'll get it. You'll find out how to do it. <laughs> All right. I just want to kind of quickly go over some of the stuff. Oh, this is kind of cool. I've been messing with it. I'm not sure where I can set this. You can have your own, um, you know, you can have your own vibration. So I've got. Uh, see that? It's kind of different. You can get the SOS. So you can you can record different vibrations and use it for different stuff. I haven't figured out how to use it yet. 
that will be your homework. Um, and also you can get, uh, there's a kernel you can get on XDA, maybe I'll test it out soon. You can overclock it all the way to 2 gigahertz. Not that I recommend it, um, but for some hardcore gamers you might want to do that. If you're, uh, oh, oh no no, sorry, that's for the AT&T. That's for the 1XL version, never mind. But you can, um, uh, you can set it to 1.5 or I actually recommend underclocking unless you're a hardcore gamer because this ROM is really fast and uh, you'll get much better battery life if you set, uh, it actually comes default at uh, 1.2 gigahertz quad core um, but I've set it to 1.5 you can set it to 1.2 uh, that should be fine it should give you a ton better battery life over stock and I think that's with that's it for ROM control you can get a bunch of different themes obviously we can try out this theme I have here let's go jelly blue um, doesn't look that much different actually oh, that's weird and uh, system settings oh that's pretty much it looks pretty solid ROM and you can have the best of the again Android 4.1.2 um, there you go so check it out AOKP this is the ice cold uh, by uh, Lord Clock Can um, you can donate to him on XDA I have links to the credit section to XDA so go ahead and donate this is an unofficial version by the way but runs really solid based on 4.1.2 so check it out, ROM of the Week for your International 1X. And let me know what you think. And if you have a 1X, um, you know, any of the 1Xs, don't forget to sign up for my email list. That's 1xroot.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button up there. And stay high on Android. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See you later. Oh.